subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video hi welcome to jail gate es lecture we are in lecture number 26 and this is your continuous time system and here we are going to start with the total response now previous and previous two examples we have studied about um your forced response and natural response now here we are going to see that there is this question is here okay listen to this carefully what we are going to see here this is this there is this question is here we are going to find out the complete solution from our standard method that is y h of t plus y p of t your homogeneous and particular solution homogeneous solution particular solution and you are getting a complete solution so by this method we'll find the y of t and again we'll going to find the y of t from our signal system method that is your zero state response and zero input response now <coughs> we'll check we'll check so according to like ye dono same hona chahiye yes or no so that is what we are going to check and we'll see ki listen to this carefully listen to this carefully your zero state response your zero state response is nothing but equals to y h of t plus y p t okay your zero state response your zero state response is nothing but y h t plus y p t that means in our this expression only in our this signal system wala method only लुक यार ये एक्सप्रेशन में हमारा एक ऐसा टर्म है जो टर्म इज नथिंग बट द समिशन ऑफ दिस टर्म बट स्टिल द सोल्यूशन इज कमिंग इज वल द समिशन इज कमिंग इक्वल द समिशन इज कमिंग इक्वल वाई दिस कंट्राडिक्शन इज हैपनिंग कोई कंट्राडिक्शन नहीं हो रहा है एक्चुअली वेन यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग वेन यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग वाई जेड एस ऑफ टी जीरो स्टेट रेस्पॉन्स वन एवर यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग ना यू आर टेकिंग जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन that is why the answer is coming out to be same in both the case that so so we will we'll look at it okay i have already solved this thing and i am going to present it in front of you so let's quickly finish our normal method that is our homogeneous solution for solution for y h of t so if you like if you work for y h of t so this can be written as also d square plus 5d plus 4 d square plus 5d plus 4 ha huh, is equals to 0 so you will get d value is minus 4 and minus 1 and you will get y h t y h t as c1 into e to the power minus 40 plus c2 into e to the power minus t now let's find out the particular solution so to find out particular solution x of t it is given e to the power minus 2t it is given okay pause this video and write it down this equation okay let me put it here ha huh. now pause this video and i will write to recommend you write down this equation क्वेश्चन को लिख लो फिर उसके बाद धीरे 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 आपको समझ में आएगा ओके नाउ इनपुट इज गिवन ई टू दी पर माइनस टू टी इंटू यू ऑफ टी हुज डेरिवेटिव विल बी नथिंग बट माइनस टू इंटू ई टू दी पर माइनस टू टी एंड इफ यू टेक द पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन वी टेक सो वी आर एज्यूम एज्यूमिंग लेट यू वाई ऑफ पी ऑफ टी इज नथिंग बट इक्वल्स टू के इन टू एक्स ऑफ टी द वे दैट वी एक्चुअली अप्रोच फॉर पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन नाउ ह्यो Uh, in place of x of t you are putting your uh, x of t ka value and take the derivative take the double derivative because we are going to put this value in our in our normal equation in our normal equation now if you put this value in our normal equation you will get the equation in terms of k and where you will get a value of k and once you get a value of k so you can put the value of k here you can put the value of k here to get your particular solution so you will get your particular solution e to the power minus 2t in the previous slide you got your particular solution is c1 into e to the power minus 40 plus c2 into e to the power minus t now here so let's let's so the total response will be homogeneous solution and particular solution homogeneous solution plus particular solution so this is your homogeneous solution and this is your particular solution now here what you are going to do look at t equals to 0 y of 0 equals to c1 plus c2 plus 1 so it is given it is given y of 0 is 0 dy by dt at t equals to 0 is 1 okay now look here so when t equals to 0 y of 0 is equals to c1 plus c2 plus 1 so here you need to put so it is given y of 0 is 0 
correct so here you will get a first equation c1 plus c2 plus 1 equals to 0 similarly uh, dy by dt at t equals to 0 it is given this value is 1 it is given this value is 1 so if you put 0 0 0 in terms of t ke jaga pe, har jaga pe 0 0 put karke, then you will get this equation now you got two equation now if you solve this two equation you will get c1 as minus 2 by 3 and c2 as minus 1 by 2 clear now after getting this value you need to put this value into here in this equation main equation main equation your total response total response main equation c1 c2 value put karne ke baad, then you will get the value of e to the minus 2t minus so this is your final value this is your answer okay this is your answer now what we are going to do we are going to do the same operation but from the formula y of 0 0 input I'm sorry 0 input response plus y of 0 state response what we are going to do we are going to write it down we are going to write it down in terms of we are going to again evaluate we are going to again evaluate this expression this expression so answer it has to come like this okay ye answer aana chahiye if we approach this so let's let's actually let's uh, follow the signal system method so total response is given as zero input response, zero state response. Now zero input response is nothing but natural response because we have initial condition because we have stored energy and that stored energy make it naturally giving response. Make it ki mere paas energy hai stored hai chal naturally ho jayega. But yahan pe koi bhi initial condition nahi hai, koi bhi initial energy nahi hai, koi bhi initial stored energy nahi hai. So iske upar force dalna padega. That is why it is called as forced response or zero state response. Now for natural response, we know yz i of t is nothing but y h t that is homogeneous solution zero input response is nothing but homogeneous response but with initial condition or with uh, with a constant the constant the constant will be evaluated using initial condition so y h t uh, we got actually in the previous case we got y h t c1 into e to the power minus 4 t plus c2 into e to the power minus t and and uh, the derivative of this thing is this so at t equals to 0 you will get this equation and here you will get c1 plus c2 is equals to 0 and also it is given key it's given it's given question may given a key derivative at t equals to 0 is 1 so you'll get this equation now if you solve this two equation you'll get you'll get you'll get you will get c1 equals to minus 1 by 3 c2 equals to 1 by 3 and zero input response is nothing but minus 1 by 3 into e to the power minus 40 plus 1 by 3 into e to the power minus t now look here carefully this is what you got zero input response now for zero state response for zero state response for zero state response zero state response is the summation of homogeneous solution and particular solution but constants are evaluated with zero initial condition with zero initial condition with a zero initial condition but in the previous case constant was used to evaluated using initial condition whatever the initial condition is there but here we need to make all the initial condition zero that is how so aapke man mein aaya hoga sir hum log jo pehle mathematical form mein karte the mathematics way mein karte the na wahan pe sir यहाँ पे भी तो total response निकालने के time में हम लोग यही equation लिए थे and after taking this equation we used to get some value the actual value but इसमें आपने initial condition zero नहीं लिया है देखो यहाँ पे आपने एक initial condition one ले लिया है look here carefully look here carefully but here what you need to do you need to give you need to take entire entire all initial condition in zero state response in all all initial condition the constant will be evaluated with zero 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 initial condition look here carefully kaise hota hai so zero state response will be given as c1 into e to the power minus 4t plus c2 into e to the power minus t plus e to the power minus 2t and take the derivative of this and you will get this value now you need to put this value in the main expression if you put this value in the main expression and put at t equals to zero you will be you will be saying ki at t equals to zero this value is zero at t equals to zero at this value also zero so you are making it equalize this value c1 plus c2 it is here we are taking initial condition zero here you are taking initial condition is zero here we are taking initial condition is zero but wahan pe kya lete the jab hum normal mathematics method mein karte the jo hamare first semester ke mathematics particular homogeneous solution mein at that point of time we are not taking initial condition as zero we used to take what whatever the value is initial condition is we are taking that 
so after doing this you will get c1 and c2 value and from there you will get zero state response as this look here carefully you will get zero state response like this now this is not our answer answer will come if we uh, like uh, add it with zero input response zero input response and zero state response so we got zero state response this much and zero input response this much now if a few if you add these two you will get your final expression this expression is equal to that of look here carefully this exp expression is nothing but equals to our normal jo hamare normal method mein mila tha yes or no that is equals to this okay please just go through all these solutions do it by yourself until and unless you are not doing it by yourself i want you to invent by the methods you should understand by yourself only otherwise you cannot understand this thing so it took me around two days to like i used to be so confused with this thing when uh, five years down the time when i was studying this thing i got confused with this thing like anything because i have understood mathematical way द मैथमेटिक्स में मैंने जो फॉर्मूला और जो थिंग पढ़ा था होमोजीनियस एंड पर्टिकुलर सोल्यूशन वो मैं समझ गया था बट हियर इन दिस कंडीशन इट इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड जीरो इनपुट रिस्पॉन्ड जीरो स्टेट रिस्पॉन्ड वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग बट एक्सट्रीमली ईजी ओके गो थ्रू ऑल दिस नोट्स नोट्स विल बी डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज डू वॉच रेगुलरली वॉच दिस जय वीडियो एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर विल गेट इन टू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूअस टाइम सिस्टम प्लीज हैव अ क्रिस्टल क्लियर क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस स्टेप Thank you so much for watching this video lecture see you in the next video lecture of classification of continuous time signal till then bye